So what we can do now on the confirmation message, we can say thanks, and then we can chuck in the first name or any value from the elements. Now, to figure out the token, what we need to do is click on Browse Tokens, open this up. I don't know why this always appears on the right-hand side. Anyway, scroll all the way down, and we need to search for this one right here. Hopefully, you can see that. Don't zoom in too far, because I'm already zoomed in. But it is this one with an actual uh, dynamic placeholder, question mark. Because what we can do is close that, and then type in, first name. So the key of the element we can chuck in there. And so I can say, thanks, first name, we'll get back to you. Okay, done all of that. Click on save. And now if we go through our page, so I will put in John, Ivan, next, next preview, then we submit it, we get this nice little message here. Thanks, John Ivan. Well, that's my that's my full name there. There you go. Uh, well, that's my first name that I added in. It's not really my first name. I'm just saying in this form, I added in my first name. 